Hey you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. So I wanted to pop in with my 2021 favorites. So these are standout products. These are products that understood the assignment, okay? And I also have three items or things that I want to mention that were a complete fail. <laughs> So before we jump into this video, make sure you are subscribed with a D and thumbs up the video as well as comment below and tell me what are some of your favorites. All of these things help out the channel so, so, so very much. So first and foremost, we're going to start with some perfumes. Now I do have some weight loss products. Um some DIY products that I have. So I have a bunch of different products. Um, but we're first going to start with perfumes. Now, in my haul, y'all, in my last haul that I did, was, which was a crazy massive haul, you have to check it out if you love hauls. Um, I, I, I featured Dossier at the beginning of that video, but y'all know how I am. I like to really review stuff before I... Um, suggest it to y'all so i might insert the clip or i might not um but anyway that was an open box in and i you know smelled it for the first time but i removed it from the video because i really wanted to test it out and see if it had throw and all of that great stuff so dorsier hit me up now this is what was so crazy about it and again i'm probably going to cut this out if i insert that other clip but when i was in new york um, I had smelled several different perfumes and I was just like, girl, that's a nice perfume, but you're not going to pay $150 for that little bottle. So I was like, oh, I need something that's like maybe similar or inspired by that would be good. So by the time I got home, I had an email from Dulcia that was like, hey, come on, we would love to work with you. And I was like, what? So on point, so on time. So I left it in the box for you guys, but I've tried both of these perfumes, um, particularly this one here, which is, I don't know how to pronounce the first name of it, but it's Pink Pepper. And this is Inspire. And y'all got to excuse my nails, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to let them grow out, y'all. Well, let me tell y'all this first, and then we'll talk about it. Um, so this is Pink Pepper. And when I tell you, I just I want to bite myself. Oh my God, it smells so flipping good. It is excellent. Okay, it is excellent. I love that so, so, so very much. It is exactly what I wanted. So now, that is probably going to be my main, main, main perfume there. And then I picked this one up, or I got this one um, to give to somebody. This is Aromic Star Anise. Anise? I hope I pronounced that right. And this is inspired by um, Savage, Dior Savage. So it comes with the card. And this one, yeah, Dior Savage. <sighs> This is the perfect, perfect gift for like a male in your family or something like that. When I tell you it smells so good, you're going to want to fire. Oh, oh, that smells so, 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 so good. If you don't get nothing else, you have to try this one. I love the bottles. They're heavy, you guys. They're just so chic and cute. I'm on holiday in Mobile, y'all. As soon, I wasn't around my sister 3.5 seconds until she was like, oh my goodness, what is that smell? My perfume was gone. I haven't seen it since. <laughs> so as soon as I came home, I jumped online and it sold out. I know it's going to come back into stock for sure, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try the Flora Pink Pepper. Oh my goodness, if it's just that not, good, y'all. have to check out Dossier. If y'all haven't, they're always running fabulous, fabulous deals, y'all. I just, I had no idea. I I've seen Dossier in a couple of videos, but I never really checked them out. And I've, I've checked them out now, and I'm happy that I did. And I will, will, will go on to their site and check out some more fragrances, fragrances. Don't forget to check the description box for my discount code, as well as I will put it in the video for an additional 
discounts. So jumping into some of the weight loss products <laughs> that's my favorites this year. Now I, I've had a tons as y'all know tons and tons and tons of favorites um, on my weight loss journey throughout the years that I've shown y'all. I will make a playlist of favorites put it in the description box so if y'all want to check that out you could check that out bunch of tons of different things that I've tried throughout the years. I don't want to, you know, continue to rehash like some of the same products. So I wanted to show y'all some different products that I've been trying on my journey in 2021. So first and foremost, y'all, I did try the wrap. Now I can't find it. I will insert a clip once it's probably in the dryer or wrapped up in like a comforter or something i look i still can't find it so it is the let me pull up Oop, let me zoom in girl i'm looking wretched okay so i was about to say a whole bunch of reasons why you shouldn't and shouldn't and all of this get this particular wrap so i will say this it moves so if you're looking for something that is going to stay in place all day, keep you snatched, all of that, this is not it. But if you're looking for something to maybe wear a couple of hours a day with not a lot of movement or just to exercise in um, and help you sweat, this is for you. Now, I haven't noticed like extreme sweating or anything like that with a... Um, you know how when you're using the Ghost Waist Trimmer, um, this doesn't give me the same effect. Also, I always wear shirts under anything that's going to touch my skin like this because I irritate easy. So that might be the reason why I'm not sweating it out. But I really like um, the effect, the feel that it gives me, the security. And I also like the fact that it helps me sweat. So, but if you have something already that you're really, really loving and you don't need something to just wear when working out, I would say skip this. So again, you have control over how tight you want it. As y'all can see, this band is huge. This is doubled, like this is tripled actually. Um, so I can undo this four more times. This band is absolutely huge, okay? Next up, we have my stepper. So I actually keep this as well as two 10 pound weights right up under my TV. Y'all know how I got the TV mounted. It's right up under the TV. So when I'm sitting down and I haven't went out to exercise or when it's raining or when it's too cold and I'm just like, girl, you got to move your body. You know, I'll put on maybe some YouTube or maybe a movie or TV series that I'm watching and I would just stand there in front of the TV with my weights just going kind of slow but just moving you know for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes and then use the stepper and step up and down you know for about 30 to 45 minutes you know anything anything you know to get the body moving and like I told you I have other favorites and other videos where I show y'all other things that I do to get the body moving one of my other favorites that I'm loving right now is my coldest bottle or my coldest water bottle or whatever you want to call it but anyway um so i love this and i don't know if i love this particular one but i think i just love the concept of being able to have ice cold water for 24 hours i think i love that um so i will okay and this also y'all remember i used to only drink water at room temperature do y'all remember that i don't know if y'all remember that but yeah for throughout my almost my whole journey eight plus years y'all i have drink i have drunk water room temperature I don't drink water at room temperature anymore. Also, I was reading that cold water also helps with digestion as well as I think speeds up your metabolism. So it's cold water for me from now on. Now. So this has came at the latter part of the year, y'all. But these have been so beneficial. Oh my gosh. If you like your um, AirPods, but you hate the fact that they fall out your ear sometimes, time or you don't know when they're in your ear whatever 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 this is where it's at these are my beats y'all and this is how they look i have the light pink ones of course and of course this this case here it charges them 
Oh my god, I love these things so flipping much. I will I will never buy Apple AirPods again. As long as they continue to make these. These are so good. They stay in your ears snug. Oh, I forget they in my ears sometimes, but it's wrapped around my ears, so I do not worry about them. Fabulous for working out and fabulous for hardcore moving and shaking. Fabulous. You can be upside down. They not moving. Okay, check these out. Check these out. You people out there that work that work out super super hard and those AirPods fall out your ear. Check these out. Love these so much. So next I wanted to show y'all a couple of things I just been loving or just have been that made my life a little easier. <laughs> This I've been loving. This y'all, this year I, I found out that this is my favorite candle. Like hands down, I absolutely love like um, Bath and Body Work has a lot of candles that I absolutely love. But I think this is pronounced Gingham. Gingham? I'm, I'm probably butchering this. But hands down y'all. They discontinued the other candle that was my favorite candle, which was a, um, I think it was the relaxation candle. It was one of those, which was fabulous. But this one here is just right there with it. This is like my favorite, favorite, favorite candle. I have tons of other candles, y'all. But when I'm just trying to set the mood, this is it. This is the candle. I don't know what it is, but it's, 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 it's romantic. It's clean linen. It's set the mood. It's everything. I don't know. It's just my favorite candle. Love it so much. And this is my favorite planner, y'all. I forget um, who Aaron. Okay, Aaron Coden. Condon. Aaron Con Condren. Maybe that's how she pronounced her name. Um, but this is like my favorite, y'all. Oh, I love this planner so much. I never thought I would be one of those people to write in a planner. Y'all, it is something totally different to have it written down in a planner versus in your phone. I use my notepad in my phone all the time, every day. But when it comes down to my planner, it's different. It's kind of like having, because I was going to get a chart board, which I might eventually do when I get my home. Um, but like, you know, a chart board to like write out everything you need to do for the week and then check it out as you go. That's what I use my planner for, y'all. I love this planner so, so, so very much. And I, um, I don't know if you, re I, it's kind of expensive. I ain't gonna hold y'all, but for a planner, it comes with lots of different stickers and all this cool, cool stuff. So if you, if you use a planner like weekly, if you really do use a planner, I would totally, totally suggest it. It's worth the money if you truly, truly use it. I truly, truly use mine. So I'm probably going to go on and get me one for 2020 too pretty soon. But yeah, it's just, I love this planner so much. Has like affirmations in it. It's just all this cool, cool stuff. I love the design. Just love it. And this is, you can design it. I have my name on it, of course. And my Zodiac is a Cancer. So this is the one for Cancer. So I love that. And then um, my Steve Madden bag, y'all. This is the bag that I took to New York with me and ever since then every single time I put on some clothes and I'm cute but I'm not overdoing it I just throw on this bag it is so convenient y'all they have this bag in almost every single color you could think that you want I want it in white and in pink and I'm gonna get it I love it so so much Oh, it just goes. It just, it just goes. So next up, I wanted to show y'all two healthcare products that, um, that's just fabulous that have been benefiting me. So I know this is like random, but I do think that it might help someone out there. So y'all, I stop wearing deodorant every day, probably almost all of 2021 and some of 2020. When I stop going into the office, I don't wear it anymore every single day. I only wear deodorant when I feel like on that particular day, I'm going to absolutely need it. And the reason is, is because y'all know I used to get boils and stuff like that under my arms. Okay, this might be cringe worthy. I'm just letting you know now. 
fast forward if you don't want to hear about my armpits. Sorry. So, um, when I used to, um, you know, again, so y'all know I used to get boils or whatever. So even after that, I stopped getting boils, but sometimes like I'll get a pimple or something like that. And when I go to squeeze it, the, whatever came out of it didn't look like a regular pimple, you know, a blackhead, whitehead. It just didn't look like that. It looked like build up of something, um, deodorant or something, right? So after I stopped using deodorant and after I start using these deodorants, I don't have that problem anymore. I don't have like, you know, bumps and, you know, stuff coming out. It's just, you know, weird. And then on top of that, um, aluminum and things like that and deodorant, you know, that is, they say, can cause breast cancer. So I just want to show y'all the deodorants that I've been using and I haven't had any buildup or anything like that. I also exfoliate under my arms as well. So that could be a, um, a, um, a tip there. So I found these at Kroger's for $3 y'all. I know it's a fabulous deal, but I picked up a ton of these and I think it's pronounced native. It could be native. I'm not sure. Um, but that is the deodorant that I've been using as well as the Dove. This is going to be like my go-to whenever I can't find a good deal on, um, I think it's native, whatever. Whenever I can't find a good deal on that, um, the go-to is always going to be your Dove. I'm trying, I know it's super bright in here y'all, but this is the Dove zero aluminum um so those are the two my go-to deodorants they don't call, cause any type of flare-ups any type of irritation any type of anything and it keeps me fresh all day long so yeah, I am going. I had a couple of people ask me about my um my butter, y'all. Hands down, this is like probably one of the best creations I've made this year. Um, this I made this butter, y'all. See, I have I y'all probably can't even see. It's so empty now. I probably have like a little bit to put on my hands over there. So this is the butter that I made in one of my vlogs and a couple of y'all have been asking me about this butter. So what I'm going to do today is probably go downstairs and make like a short on YouTube. I think only like a minute long and kind of just show y'all how I made it. And um, yeah, so this butter here y'all, it is fabulous okay fabulous it has helped out with discoloration on my legs softened my legs oh my my skin just feels like butter when i got this on and it just gives me a shine a sheen softness i went to like of course when you get ready to go to the doctor you know what i'm saying you take a shower do all that right so I took a shower, put on my butters, all that, went to the doctor. The nurse that came in before my doctor, she was like, oh my God, of course, we were talking about something else, but then she was like, your skin, oh my God, it is beautiful. And I was like, thank you. It was the legs and the arms for me. They just had a beautiful sheen and it was, they were so soft. So I absolutely love, love my butter. But before I put my butter on, I always, always, always exfoliate and just like my waist wrap y'all I was washing my exfoliating gloves yes I wash everything I don't know so I was washing my gloves and I'm sure it's stuck in like a sheet or a pillowcase or something like that <laughs> but exfoliate 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 y'all okay i exfoliate i why i clean my body with soap and then i go back in with whatever i'm exfoliating with i don't use anything heavy like a sugar or something with these gloves because these gloves are already going to exfoliate you so if you use another exfoliator i think that's the right word don't use nothing that's like too too coarse because you might damage your skin but anyway exfoliate first um your body Woo! Woo! exfoliate your body you know top to bottom and shower and all of that and then use your butter and i'm telling you your skin is just gonna be like girl who this who this girl <sighs> but anyway i will have that video that video probably will be up already by the time y'all see this so check that video out 
So next up, y'all, I wanted to insert a couple of makeup products in here. Y'all know I love makeup. I have a whole makeup room. So it would be insanity for me not to include makeup here. I actually could do a whole video, y'all, of just my favorite makeups from this year. Just, I have a lot. But I just wanted to pull out two or three things that really really stood out to me and I still use this y'all this was probably in one of my favorites five years ago and it's still my base to this day and this is L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base I'm almost about to hit the bottom like I have hit the bottom actually I have some on the sides or whatever but this is the bomb like again I have acne prone skin so this has never broke me out I love that so much and then my two favorite lipsticks is what I have on my lips today well, I have the matte on. This is Ruby Woo. I have it in like a sheen and a matte. Absolutely love this lipstick. This is like... I don't know. I don't think I would. I ever thought the day would come where I'm just like, I love a red lipstick. A, a bright red lipstick. I never thought that day would come. So, I love this. I love this. These, this is my favorite lipstick right now. Y'all gonna be seeing red lips all throughout 2022. So next up, I have um, a couple of, I think I said originally that I only had like two no goals, but I have a couple. I think I have three or four. Well, first and foremost, it's going to be Halo Chips. I guess that's how they pronounce it, Halo, Halo, I'm not sure. But yeah, I bought a box of 12 of these probably back in april these might be expired and i'm telling y'all i have been trying to they just expired november the 9th i have been trying to eat these things y'all ever since i purchased them these chips the nacho and the other ones i think they have three different flavors the only flavor that you can tolerate or that i'm able to tolerate is the ranch all of the other ones literally taste like someone took some almond flour, dosed some cheese on it, baked it, and that's it. All you taste is a mouthful of almond flour. They mix the mark. They mix the mark on this one. Aldi has a chip, a cracker, all of that made with almond flour. They got it right. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. So I would not suggest these, y'all. And what I mean by low-carb chip, I'm going to taste one real time for y'all. But these have 5 carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 9 grams of protein, right? So when it comes down to net carbs, I think there's 3 net carbs and 150 calories. give y'all a read because I haven't I haven't opened one of these in a while this is how it looks yeah that's the best definition. Um, flour with cheese on top. Absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. And so one of the next things I, I wanted to mention that I'm going to stop fooling with, and that's Shein. Now, I'm not finna hold y'all. I got a Shein haul coming up. One of the first videos in 2022. And it is going to be so hard to stop shopping at Shein, okay? In quick fashion when it costs so cheap, so little. But yeah, I was looking at a documentary the other day and if I can remember or if someone's interested, I'll put it in the description box. How they, 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 I think they pulled or they went to like five different fast fashion type of um, boutiques or stores. Shein, y'all, was the worst. They had lead and and stuff in the clothing and, and baby stuff and just so many chemicals, y'all. 
it's slowly killing us. It's slowly killing us, okay? So I'm just like, even with me knowing I'm sitting over here like, but that jacket was, I seen a jacket the other day that was so foul she. <laughs> so it's going to be hard, y'all. It's going to be hard. But I got to get away from she in. Because, and, and, and Fashion Nova did very, very well. Very well. I think they didn't find much of anything with Fashion Nova clothes when it came down to the chemicals and stuff. But she in was just trash. A couple of other ones was just trash too. And I was just like... Whoo child, I gotta get away from that. So I'm not gonna put it on. T well, yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop shopping at Shein personally. I do, and I'm not finna tell y'all that y'all not gonna see a haul or two. But what I'm telling y'all is, I'm, I'm going to actively start trying to stop shopping there because, of course, I don't haul and I don't come in and I don't do a um a try on for every haul. I mean, what? I might have done one or two Shein try-ons in the last six months, but I've had like five or six orders. <laughs> Cha, okay? So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right. So, another item that y'all should stay away from, and if this changed, I would do a whole video, y'all. I would do a whole video. But I have purchased two of the hula hoops. That everybody was talking about on TikTok, you know, whatever. I purchased two of them. They do not move. They do not move. Like I'm. Ball don't move. Ball don't move. Okay. It's a fail. It's a fail. So, I personally would not suggest the hula hoop but i told myself that i was going to give it one more chance now of course me trying to move it was a good workout y'all because that ball ain't moved yet but baby i was swinging them hips from mississippi to new york but that ball ain't moved yet so i might try it again i don't know I might give it another try, but I'm letting y'all know because I did mention this in another video. I'm letting y'all know it don't move. Does it move for y'all? Let me know. All right. So the last item that I wanted to mention that is a no go into 2022 with Kamonica is a Faha. Okay. Y'all, this Faha cost me over $200. Am I lying? It might have been like 170 And then with taxes and shipping and everything, it might have been 200 Either way. Okay. So, y'all, a Faha does exact, a corset, whatever you want to call it. It does exactly what it's supposed to do, baby. Exactly. But it ain't for me. Okay, it ain't for me. I'm sorry, y'all, but I, I, when I get my arms done, my back done, I'm probably going to get a little lipo done. I will be in a faha again. I know it. I purchased this faha with my own coins in order to wear it. For about six months to really train my body, you know, after tummy's hook. Nope. Nope. Wore it a couple of weeks. I'm not going to hold y'all. Probably wore it a month. Who knows? They are not comfortable. If you want comfort, if you want comfort, a Faha is not where it's at. At least not a Faha like this. At least not a custom made Faha. This ain't it. This ain't it. Again, I will probably be back in a Faha again in the next couple of months because I have to be in them after surgery. These are uncomfortable. <laughs> they are, in my opinion, y'all, this is torture for a woman to have to wear a faha every day, all day, just to get a certain look that she want. Okay? No. I'm just, I'm not doing that. The only time, y'all, that I'm going to wear a faha 
going forward <laughs> is if the doctor requires it. If she ain't required it, y'all, I'm not doing it. I'm just, I'm just being real with y'all. I'm just not doing it. It's everything from cutting into the thigh. And it don't always do that. It's just sometimes, you know, the cutting into the thighs, the pinching, the holes. Now, and it's just not this one, y'all. It's every five, every single one of them. Of everything. That's why I ain't even name nothing. It's all of them, okay? From the, the, the hole not being big enough, you peeing up your butt. Like, no, no, no. So I'm just letting y'all know now. Faha is not my friend. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good going into 2022 without this. No. No. I'm traumatized. No. I'm not actually traumatized, but, um, I, you know, at the end of the day, y'all, it comes down to this. I am not spending these thousands of dollars to get all this loose skin and fat removed from my body only to turn around and have to wear shapewear for the rest of my life bs bs when i get all this fat and skin removed from my body if i still have fat rolls and skin hang it's just gonna hang okay it's just gonna hang i'm not torturing myself like this not for the rest of my life no ma'am so, y'all, those are the products, the standout products that I will be taking into 2022, as well as some of those are the products that we will be leaving in 2021. I know the five hot things shot y'all, but we finna leave them in 2021, okay? Unless they necessary to bring to 2022, then we're gonna take them back and put them back in 2021. <laughs> But those are the products that I absolutely love. If you've tried any of these products, let me know how you feel about these particular products. Don't forget to check out my um, dossier code in the description box as well. And let me know how y'all feel about Fahas, Shein, Halo Chips, all of that. What are some things that you will not be taking into 2022? I hope I said the 20s right. <laughs> so I love you guys so, so, so very much. Thank y'all so very much for all of the support again in 2021. And I hope that y'all continues to support me in 2022. Let's make 2022 fabulous i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one Mwah.